Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see front view, top view and side view. Now in this case we will draw both the side views. See this. This is front view, top view. Now left hand side view will come on right side and right hand side view will come on left side. So we are doing both the side views. So we'll see length is 60, height is 45 and width is 40. So first we will draw layout. After that in front view, if you see that this part is there, height is 15. See, and you draw horizontal line. This is the bottom one, which will be dark. See this, how much is this? 20. And this is 30. So you take 20, then gap of 10, then again 30. Then you take this line vertical. So you'll get front portion, this T part, which is reverse, upside down. After that, this circular part will appear as a rectangle. When you see from here, this circle will appear as a rectangle. So that will be also in front view. See this part. Then this part, how much is this height? 10. So you go down by 10. See this. And this is 15. You draw vertical line. And horizontal. So we'll get that part also. So we are done with front view. This will be dark. Now we'll start with top view. If you see top view with this L shape. Again it is upside down. See this part. This is 40, this is 30, so this would be 10. Then again you take 20. See this, this is a rectangle and this is that L. So we got this much part in top view. Now this part. So now this distance we don't know, that you will come to know from side view. We'll draw a circle, that is rectangle, right? So now we are doing side view. See this. We'll take 30. This line will be full dark. This line will be also full dark. This will be dark. This is also dark, right? Then this line, which you can't see from side, see this, this one, full slope. So that we can draw as dotted. We'll go up by 15 
and from that corner it will be full dotted line. See this height is how much? 10. So you can project from front view also. So that will be dotted. So now side view is done. Now see this part I was talking about. Project that part for top view. See this. And then I will take it in top view. See now we got that part. So at times you need to project from other view to get the marking. Now we'll see right hand side view. Now in right hand side view you will see that slope. See now if you see in left hand side view it was dotted. In right hand side view it will be dark. Now after this, this will be dark. Now this part that you can project from front view. Now this curve, see this from here. So from center you draw radius 30. From this center, we'll take 30. So generally what you have done, you can take it directly, the dimension from there. Now if you want to draw a circle, you can draw full circle dark and that with eraser, you can erase it. This is one of the easier way. Otherwise you can draw normal dotted circle. But if you don't want to do that, you can draw full circle and then remove. You can draw full circle and then remove part so it will look like dotted circle see this way you can do you can leave gap so we are done with side view as well so in this case we have done front view, top view, left hand side view and right hand side view. See this. Now we can do dimensioning and labeling. I hope you people have understood this sum. Thank you.